All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create these double-sided wedding programs using nothing but Microsoft Word, a browser, and a printer. Okay. Uh, again, these are double-sided, and when we create them in Microsoft Word, this is what they're going to look like. This is going to print on one sheet of paper, and per sheet of paper, you will get two separate programs. All right, so um, now that we know what the end result of what it's going to look at, before we get started on making these, I do want to point out that I have a YouTube channel called Printables with Microsoft Word. It shows you how to create um, flyers, foldable cards, um, credit card invitations, um, raffle tickets. And if I don't have a video up here that you see that you want, please uh, write it in the comments. I'm happy to take suggestions. But if you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video of searching fonts, installing fonts, and using symbols. Uh, I am using some unique fonts for this, so you will um, need to know how to download and install new fonts if you want um, to create this program exactly. Now also when creating this, obviously, you can make any customizations or modifications that you want. You can feel free to change the fonts, feel free to change the wording, feel free to change, you know, the spacing. Uh, kind of make it fun, but this is going to be used as sort of a tutorial uh, to get you on the right track. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, Blank Document. We're going to then go to Page Layout. We're going to go to Margins. We're going to go to Narrow. That just gives us a little more real estate to work with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a box so we know sort of where the middle and we could center our different programs, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go to Insert, Shapes, and we want to click on Rectangle. And we just want to click anywhere on the page, okay? From here, we want to go ahead and make this 11, and we want to make this 4.2, okay? This will be, and then what we want to do is we want to angle this so you see it's in the center and you see that green line off to the side, that's what you want, okay? We're going to go ahead and do a shape outline of a really light gray and we're going to do a shape fill of no fill. And again, that's under the format. You want to ensure that this box is selected so we see the boxes. You want to click on format and you want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of a really, really light gray. And that's again just going to give you a guideline of where the center is going to be, okay? so. From here, what we want to do is insert some text boxes. So we want to go to Insert, Text Box, Draw Text Box. And we want to draw this right up in the middle here. We want to write, and we want to make this all caps. Let's put cap lock on. The Wedding Ceremony Uniting. And we want to highlight this, okay? And we see this text box is selected because we have the little white squares. We want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to go to home and we want to change the font to copper plate. Uh, I believe this is a default font so you should have this. Copper plate. Gothic light. Okay. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make this a 12 point font. And then we want to make, you can always just make the text box bigger if it doesn't all fit. And we want to center this, and then we want to center this in the middle of this box here. Okay? And you can make this a little bit smaller if you want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert another text box. And we're going to draw a text box. And we're going to go right here. And we're going to write, trace it, just, we want to take cap lock off. Tracy, do the and percent, Matthew. And we're going to do a couple things here. We want to select this text box, do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline. We also want to copy this. We want to go to the home ribbon up here, and we want to go down to line spacing options, and we want to be sure this is set to zero and single. Okay, so it's closer together. Then what we want to do is we want to change the font to Ayustina, uh, and again I apologize for my pronunciation there, <laughs> and we want to make this a, let's do a 28 point font, 
But what we want to do is we want to go up to Format here, and we want to go to Transform. Again, you want to be sure this text box is selected. Go to Format, go down here, go to Transform, and we want to click on Square. Okay. Now the ampersand doesn't show up, and sometimes the fonts, depending on what the fonts are, they're not going to show up. Uh, so you might have to change um, what the uh, font is for the ampersand or special symbols. And for here, I used black pen for the ampersand. I thought that looked pretty good. And then we want to center this, and there we go. The Wedding Uniting Tracy and Matthew. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and highlight this top text box. We want to do a copy, and again, all I did was right click and then left click. Go down here, right click, and then do a paste. And then down here, we can make this just a little bit bigger. We could write San Francisco, California, Saturday, March 23rd, 2019. And again, that's a 12 point font, so that's perfect. Okay, and that's actually, if you look at this up close, the 23rd looks fine. You just can't see it from far away. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy, right click, do a copy, left click, do a paste. We want to move this down. We want this to say the ceremony. And we want to make this smaller. There we go. And then we want to do a control C or we want to right click and do a copy and then do a paste. And again, all I'm doing is doing a copy and a paste by selecting. Um, and rather than just writing all of this out, I'm actually just going to copy and paste this, but prelude. Um, seating of the mothers, bridal possession, opening prayer, um, reading, exchanging vows, exchange of rings. It's pretty um, standard uh, in terms of, of wedding. And again, obviously you want to make this fit your wedding. So this, this might change. And then from here, you can again, just right click, do a copy, and then do a paste, and then go down here and you can do a thank you. We can move this up. We can do a thank you. And then finally, we can do a copy and we can do a paste. And this can say for being a part of our special day. And you can obviously make any changes in terms of making things bigger or smaller for the fonts. It really just depends on what you like, okay? So now this is going to be the front. In order to copy and paste this to this section, what you want to do is you want to click on the object by just right clicking on it, hold down the shift key, click on the next object. Keep that shift key held down. And then you just click on all of these. While still holding down the shift key, hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, okay. Um, you can do a copy up here. Um, you should be able to right click and do a copy, but that's okay. And then you just want to do a paste and you want to move everything over. And what you want to do is while everything is still selected, um, you want to move everything over together because what what could happen is you move you do a paste and then you only select one object then you have to move everything over individually so if you do that just click on 
undo, and then repaste it and grab all of the objects together. You can use the arrow keys. If you don't trust your hand with the mouse, you can use your arrow keys to move them all over. So now we have uh, the front side with two copies, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to insert a blank page. And it doesn't matter which page goes first and which page goes second, to be honest with you, because we're just going to print one page at a time. Uh, what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and right click and do a, actually, what we want to do is select this box, do a copy. Remember that first box where it gives us sort of our, our overview of, of where we want everything centered and we want to paste this and then we want to put that in the middle. Then we want to go ahead and select our Tracy and Matthew. We want to do a copy. We want to come up here. We want to do a paste. And you can use the arrow keys in order to move this in more of a fine grained manner. And we want to write the wedding, geez, the wedding party. All right. Um, and you can make this smaller or bigger depending on what you want. Okay. Uh, now, again, rather than sort of typing all of this out, because it's a lot of typing, what I'm going to do is just copy all of this. Again, all it is is um, typing things out. And then we go here. Actually, let me, you know what, let me start from, from the beginning, and then we can, we can go and, and copy and paste. So let's go ahead and do a copy down here for the prelude, what we want to do is go up here and we want to go ahead and do a paste. Okay. Now I'm going to go, rather than typing all this out, I'm going to go ahead and do a copy. And I want to go ahead and do a paste. Oopsies. But now, okay. Sorry about that being a little temperamental. So now you see that it doesn't all fit, okay? So you might have to play with the spacing. Actually, it does all fit, but you might have to play with the spacing. And if it doesn't all fit or the spacing's wrong, what you want to do is you want to highlight the text in here and you want to go up to line spacing options. I have this line spacing set at exactly 20 point. Um, by default, it's either going to be zero, and if you do single spacing, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, it could be double spacing, and then it won't fit. So you might have to play with this, but again, what I found that works for, oopsies, for um, exactly, and we want 20, for mine is 20 point in between. And then from here, once again, all you have to do is select this, Hold down the shift key, select this, go ahead and do a copy, and then come over here and go ahead and do a paste. And then again, you want to grab everything or you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard if you want to do that as well. Okay. Now, before you print, because printers can kind of be a little temperamental sometimes and they're all a little bit different, you want to delete this box. Okay. So what you want to do then is you want to go click on this page and you want to do a file, you want to do a print, and you want to say current page, okay? Then you want to print that current page. After you've printed that current page, you want to put it in your printer like this, where the, the it's, it's almost backwards, if you will. Um, so if you're, you're um, putting it in the printer the side closest to you is going to be the top of the page. And then when it prints out, it will print out a double-sided page. And then you just kind of crease the top a little bit, use a paper cutter, and you have a beautiful double-sided program for your event. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Please like this video and or subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you liked it, I also take and monitor the chat lines, so please feel free to write any comments, and thanks so much for your time.